So um, one of the main practices we have in Qigong is uh, building our internal power, uh, internal energy. Uh, we call it your Nei Dan, which is an internal energy elixir. Um, and uh, building our Nei Li, which is, uh, or Loi Li, which is your internal power, your patience, your perseverance. You could also say it could be your self-confidence, could be uh, your determination, your willpower, um, uh, any kind of... Um, your extra will or warrior spirit. So this is a very important part of uh, Qigong practice as before like warriors would do this kind of practice and uh, soldiers would do this kind of practice. So um, many, many uh, spiritual people say that, oh, you can't build your inner power. It's whatever is gifted you at birth, that's what you get. But I actually don't think that's an accurate statement because uh, the universe or God gives you what you need when you need it. So uh, for example, what I talked about last week, was um, uh, one of my teammates, her name is Margarita. She's non-Asian, so, and she um, basically was not talented at all in Wushu, Kung Fu, and we would uh, be, we have a team, you know, she'd always finish like almost in last place, and uh, she was just very, very weak as well. She wasn't fast or powerful. And uh, so nobody really believed in her, and, but she believed in herself. And that's the most important is you have to have self-belief in what you can do. And uh, she basically cried, every competition because she never won any medals but eventually she did uh, she didn't believe uh, give up she just kept going and actually trained harder for the next time and then uh, eventually she made the national team and then uh, she failed at the olympics but her goal was to be uh, the champion so and she didn't stop even though no one believed her uh, but eventually she did become the the world champion after that in her final competition so this just comes to show that it um, doesn't matter where you start from if you have that belief, if you have that will, that determination, that anything's possible. So God will give you that and gift you with that inner strength when you need it. So as long as you believe in yourself and you don't give up, and you have this knowing inside yourself, internal knowing, uh, internal confidence with yourself, that you will get to where you need to go. So uh, it doesn't matter how old you are. You could be eight years old, and, uh, and then, or you could be 12 years old. It doesn't really matter. You see, that's why like uh, a lot of eight-year-old bodybuilders and fitness experts are out now because of that. So even if you're that old, if you still have that knowing, that belief, that determination, that will, you can still achieve great things. Uh, doesn't matter what, what, what your age is. So, so uh, your um, lower dantian is our main practice here. And uh, our goal is to build this energy inside. We call it the internal fire pit. So when we're doing our exercises, we always focus on the dantian here. So uh, it also relates to the chakras. Chakras are a little bit different than dantian. Dantian is relates more with your nervous system, your endocrine system, but your chakras relates more to your kind of your energy elixirs that uh, I say there's seven chakras, but there actually is only six because the seventh chakra is actually um, it's a gateway. It's a gateway to the heaven realm above your head. So the, in, uh, the South the East Indians call it your 1000 petal lotus. It's like a lotus flower that opens up when the time is right. Uh, so it's not really a chakra. And uh, your brain is actually connected to your spine. So you can say the spine is, uh, is an aspect of your brain. So uh, the chakras are actually connected to your spine. So that's why uh, the, a lot of times when we do our exercises, we do a lot of stretching, moving, it involves the spine. So that's to open up the chakras. And the more you can open the chakras, the more vibrant you're gonna feel, the more healthier you're gonna feel, the more uh, balanced you're gonna feel as a person. And actually um, they say you can only use maybe like uh, two to five to 10% of your brain power, but actually the spine is connected to your brain. So when you're actually moving your spine, opening your spine, you can actually use more, a higher percentage of your brain power. So that's a important takeaway. So, and uh, so the chi is uh, stored here because there's no storage up in your brain because the brain only ex expends energy, but your dantian is where you store the energy. So if you take out your intestines, you can go like six times your body length four to six times your body length. So that's how much extra space in your in your dantian that you have to store the energy. So that's why we always uh, think of the light shining from two inches behind your navel, and then maybe an inch to two inches below your navel as well. So uh, they say the solar plexus chakra is like up here, but the, actually it's a little bit lower. It's actually down at your navel. So that's why you feel this energy here. When you, when you feel like the energy is here, you feel more confident, you feel more stable emotionally, more uh, grounded. So that's that's your uh, personal power, they call it, your personal power center, 
your self-confidence, your creativity all stems from this area. So if you find that you're not feeling as confident in your life that you should be, you don't have a lot of uh, self-confidence, then you want to focus on this area. You want to think of the energy turning here. That's why we always do that practice, you're moving the energy. And once you move the energy, expand the energy, then you feel more vibrant, you feel more grounded, you feel more uh, strong in your daily life. So that's uh, important practice. So yeah, uh, by doing this, uh, you do something called Jan Zhuang, which is standing meditation. It's a type of uh, meditation you go into the Wuji, state of Wuji. State of Wuji is the opposite of Taiji. Taiji is the state of uh, yin and yang duality. But Wuji is a state of nothingness, emptiness. So if you want to draw on this internal power and build this internal fire, you have to go back to emptiness first. You have to go back to a state of nothingness. So um, uh, these um, monks, the very, very high level monks, they can actually slow down their pulse, slow down their uh, heart, uh, heart rate, slow down their breathing to so, such a soft rate that you can, can't even hear a sound or feel anything, it's almost to the point of, of uh, right before death. So it's like a putting your body on safe mode. When you put your body on safe mode, then you can actually go within and bring your energy in and actually feel that state of Uchi. So, but uh, some monks that are so high level, they can actually shut down their body at will just with their mind and then turn it back on anytime and shut it down to a point where they can just, uh, their, soul, their spirit body or their light body, their soul body can leave their body and then travel within the multiverse astral or the astral realm and then come back into the body. But practicing is very dangerous. I wouldn't recommend that. You have to have like a master to, to be with you at the time in case you actually die, they can revive you. So that's like for high level professional monks. But our practice, we just will want to go into the standing meditation and just feel the energy and just feel the breath. And then just uh, go to the point where you go to no thought. Eventually, eventually you can get there, but at the beginning, it's really, really hard. So we all like to say, just slow down your thoughts. So just think of your thoughts like a train and you want to make the space between your thoughts a little bit bigger eventually slower, like put everything on slow motion. Then eventually, um, then you can kind of deep dive in between each thought. Think of yourself just kind of following into a deep abyss of nothingness. Then uh, from there, then it gets easier. It's just a kind of a focused practice. So it helps you to focus your mind. And so you're not thinking about too many other things while you're doing it, so. All right, so let's uh, get on with that. Uh, we're gonna practice some, uh, 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 some exercise involving the eight brocades and then um, some flow exercises and some stretches. So we're, we're going to go inside that room. So.